folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna cut these trees. Half of them are dead and the other half are about to come out by the roots anyway. We're gonna split them with Mr. Merritt's splitter. He's got a humdinger of a splitter. And we're gonna make some firewood. We're gonna grind some brush. I say, let's get into it. First tree we're gonna cut is this big elm. It's got some rot at the bottom and it's leaning very hard out in the field. Can't just do a notch and cut or you'll get killed. So we're gonna have to do a plunge cut. Let me show you how to use a trigger. so much weight on it no way to do it just the regular typical notch and cut it's down safely let's cut it up and bust it We've got it all cut up. We've got most of the brush hauled and ground up already. And now it's time to get on the splitter. Let's go take a look and see how the splitter operates because it looks like it works pretty good. The old elm one does not bust easy. I'll just tell you right now. By hand, that would be impossible. How many tons is that? About 17. We're about 18 tons. 18 ton right now. Woohoo! Not a good one to bust by hand. When it's stringy, you use that to push it through? Yep. 
Ja. Ja. Ai, 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 ai. That's Elmwood for you. Not easy split. This right here is what we got done before lunch. Pretty good size trailer load. Green and also very hard to split. But the splitter split it just fine. The alum wood is not the best burning wood in the world, but we will dry it for about a year or six months or eight months, whenever we run out of what we're burning now. And so it'll be good burning wood. Very hard splitting wood. Even though the machine can split it just fine, it got a hold of one that turned it and twisted it and broke a grade eight bolt right off like it was nothing. <laughs> no, it was something. But anyway, we're gonna probably not be able to use that anymore today, but we do have the two big ash trees that are dead that need to come down. So this video is literally brought to you by the Emerald Ash Beetle. We ate lunch, kids stacked the wood. That's a lot of wood. Now we're gonna cut these two ash trees. The first one I'm gonna cut is the small one. They're both dead. That's the most dangerous tree you can cut because limbs can fall out on your head. So you'll probably be noticing I'll be looking up a little while during this time. But I'm gonna cut the small one first because it's sort of in front of the big one. Then I'll go ahead and cut the big one. Something been pecking around on it and boring holes in it. All right, we're gonna have us a little contest here. Wayne against me. Joe may have to come over and help Wayne, looks like. I don't know. But... <laughs>
In order to cut this through with one easy cut, I'm gonna use my neighbor's saw. It's got a long bar. This here just 20, 21 inch bar. So I can cut this tree with this saw, but it'll be a lot nicer to use his. And he might be proud of it if I would use it. He might be proud of me if I would use it. We're gonna drop that tree right here. Let's do it. Well, folks, it's getting about time to do the chores and eat the supper. The work won't go nowhere, but the supper don't wait for nobody, and the chores need to be done. it off for today this wood here white ash is a very good burning wood and it's been dead for over a year so i'm sure it's going to burn great after it sits in the shed and dries for a while but it was much better to split the ash by hand than to split the elm by hand because elm don't split by hand so we're pretty excited about it but that's all we've got for you today we hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video